Ali Harbi Ali believed this was his journey to jihad. A stroll to the station, a tube, and then a train. His destination, Leon C. His target, to strike at the heart of our democracy. It's a emergency. Please, please, quick now. The man is wielding a knife. Um, he's so, threatening me. He's, where are he's you? killed. He's killed David Amos at Belfast Methodist Church. Within minutes, he'd stabbed Sir David Amos more than 20 times as the MP hosted a surgery for his constituents. Those who'd arrived at the church to call on Sir David for help were instead left phoning the police. We came in to go to our appointment and she's saying he's stabbed him, he's saying he's killed him, he's got a 12-inch. No, where are the police? Where are they? Two officers were just arriving. Can you show us, mate? Stay back, yeah? Here on the left. You can go stay at the story. Yeah, go on. Without protection, they approach Ali Harbi Ali. Yeah. Mate, drop the knife! Drop the knife down! Get it down! Unarmed, there was no option of fulfilling his wish well, mate, to be shot. Under for murder. Instead, he'd lived to face his crimes. Domestic or hate related in Terror. Any way. Terror. His motivations readily admitted to police. Ali Harbi Ali was a committed, um, self radicalised terrorist um, who conducted a terrible attack against uh, democracy here in the UK. And this wasn't his first attempt. In police interviews, he explained how he'd scoped out other possible targets at Parliament, including the minister, Michael Gove. I'll be honest with you, there's been a lot of times where I've gone out in my head with the plan to do something, and then I would come back home. Hmm. So, you know, because, you know, what's the word? I'm looking for? I bottled it. He decided to email Sir David Amos for an appointment, believing he'd be an easier target writing, I don't know how long the appointments are, but I don't think it'll take too long. His twisted motivation, the MP had voted for airstrikes in Syria. We chose to charge him not just with an appalling murder, but with preparation for terrorism, something that's quite rarely charged. There seemed little need for a trial, but Ali Harbi Ali pleaded not guilty, forcing Sir David Amos's family and friends to sit through weeks of evidence. You know, this is somebody that I knew and, and somebody that I miss. And so watching body cam footage of that tragic day just, just reminds you of, of the reality of what he suffered. The lasting legacy will be Sir David's. Elected by 27,555 people. Killed by one whose name we will likely forget.